This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Alright my viewers I have another cricket related one here But just get the golden rule out of the way first Which is to hit that subscribe button Leave a like and drop a comment Alright so here goes Was reading an article on the Sportsmax website yesterday And I saw where they were talking about an interview that was done with Jaden Seals. Now, the main thing coming out of that interview, my viewers, is the fact that the youngster seemed really grounded. And when I say grounded, the way in which he spoke, it seemed grounded for a 19-year-old, right? Now, he has made the vow that he will continue working hard as, you know, he knows he's not yet the finished product. So that is essentially what he was saying. As I go along, I will give you quotes from the interview along with my thoughts and things. But that is essentially what the interview was about. You know, Jaden C is letting the people know that he is aware that there is a lot of work still to be done where his career is concerned. Now, <laughs> I want to tell my viewers, it is good to hear all of this, you know. Because at the end of the day, we always want to know that the youngsters are, keep, are keeping themselves grounded. You know, because West Indies really need all the help that we can get. So we don't want it to be a case of another youngster coming through and then falling by the wayside. So we are indeed happy to hear the man speak like this. Now, Jaden Seals is quoted as saying, and I quote, It's just for me to stay in the moment. I will ride the fame, yes, but for me... It's about continuing to work hard. So, you know, just letting us know that, hear what? I am enjoying the moment and I, am, and I will ride the fame out of it, yes. But I am aware that I need to continue working hard. Now, once again, my viewers, you know, the youngster is correct. You know, it's always good when, when, you, when you take wickets and you're in the spotlight to enjoy it, yes. But it is always good to bear in mind that you need to keep yourself grounded and continue to work. Because it is only continuous work that will make sure that you're, 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 you, know, you become even more skillful than you are now. And he further went on to say that, and I quote, I'm not where I want to be. I'm not the finished product as yet. I understand so <laughs> I want to tell my viewers and subscribers listening to the youngster are well I didn't actually hear the interview itself but reading about this and, and knowing this is what the youngster said it is indeed very refreshing my viewers and subscribers I must tell you it is very refreshing and I want to let you guys know that saying this and actually believing it you know those are two different things and <laughs> I just really hope that Jaden Seals mean what he's saying and will continue to show the good work that he has shown thus far. And will continue to put in the work. Because according to Kim Roach, this youngster works very hard. Always early to training. Sometimes the last one to leave. Put in the extra yard. Put in the extra work. So if he continues like this, then you know who to tell you. He might, he might become one of those, one of those pace bowlers that, that, that is very, very difficult to play. You understand? Not often enough we are able to put out pace bowlers that will go anywhere in the world and give batsmen trouble. Don't get me wrong, you know, this bowling unit that we currently have might be able to go up against any team and give them trouble. Because Jaden Seals, Kemar Roach, Jason Hola, and Alzar Joseph, when he's in the team, definitely can go anywhere in the world and give bowling, um, batting, at, batting line of problems. So, you know, I, I don't want to seem as if I'm downplaying the, the work that is being done, but I'm just trying to bring across the point that I am I am really impressed with what Jaden Seals is saying, but I want the work to continue. In in talking to the media, Seals seems as if he is real confident as he went on to let them know that he's comfortable and confident enough in himself to know that he can do better. You understand? And that is always a good starting point when you are able to to to, to say that why I am not yet where I want to be and I need to put in the work to reach further. So the youngster is, is well on his way. And I mean, it's really refreshing to hear the youth sounding so firm. You know, we would have seen a lot of, of, of talented pace bowlers, you know, go down the, the, the wayside. Throughout the years, we would have seen pace bowlers come in 
from the under 19 level and then when it is time for them to make the transition it's a big big problem but this youngster didn't did not only make the transition smoothly but he is not even 20 as it so you can call it so the man at the, well the peace base is still 19 and he would have transitioned over into the into the into the senior team and i don't want it to i don't want us to believe that he's the only youngster that would have started to play international cricket at that age we would have produced other youngsters that would have started early plus if we look around the world we see people playing cricket at that age so we, we need we need not to let this be 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 a one-off thing or or it seems as if it is so special where it cannot happen again we want the youngsters to be able to make this transition over because if under 19 you are you are able to bowl a good 138 139 there about even though we want to see the 140s the 150s but if you are able to bowl at that pace getting get the ball to nip around being able to out fox batsmen there's no then there's no reason why at 18 19 if you are good enough you should not be around the senior team because it's not like we have we have the best 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 when it comes on to batting and bowling in the world so if we have a youngster coming through like this there's no reason reason that he should not be there you understand so we don't want this to be a one off thing and you know the the, the the youngster continued by saying that it's and I quote it's just for me to work on my game a little more build up on the things that I want to improve on so apparently he would have identified the areas that he needs to improve and and will continue to work on those you understand but as he as he as he as he um continues in in international cricket you know he will realize that there are a whole lot of things to learn you know it might seem easy to him now seeing that this is the second test series that he is a part of and he's been very successful you know he was successful against south africa you now he's doing very well against uh pakistan but he will understand that that that, that, that the longer he plays then the more well the more difficult it will become it might seem it might seem um my seems as if that's not the case you know but you remember that batsmen are going to be facing you more going to be figuring out what you are doing so that is why you have to continuously work on your game so you don't become predictable and and hearing him speak like this just goes to show that he, his, his frame of mind might be in the place that we definitely would want it to be so you understand <laughs> my viewers the, the youth is 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 doing the right is saying the right things you understand and those are the things that we want to hear as fans so let us just continue to hope that the youngster will, will will be able to put in the work and will deliver you understand and he has produced some peach of a, of a delivery to to get some 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 good wickets on and it is built so it's not it's not like it's in both series so it's not like he he, he just bowled some delivery and some man hit some ball in the air. No man, he was able to outfuck some batsmen, get them caught behind and thing like that. So he's definitely he's definitely doing and saying the right things so far. So we just want him to keep it up. And at this point in 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 his career, the coaches and the managers need to step up, step in and work with him to the to the to the to an extent where where he will feel comfortable. You understand? Feel as if he's been helped. You know, this is a point where we don't want to overwork him. And from time to time, we would have seen where bowlers would have come into the West Indies team. And because of the workload, they just break down. And people will look at it and say, boy, they, they, were, they just weren't good enough. But sometimes you have to be able to manage the workload. Not because he's young and exciting. You have to be able to manage the workload. You understand? And at some point, he will, at some point, he will hit lows. In his career but the coaches and the captains they all just and the captain need to guide him you understand because you will hit low because you're going to play against batsmen that will be in good form but they just need to they just need to monitor him and I, I don't i don't i don't mean to get across or to sound like any scientist or anything like that but we have to remember that his body is not fully yet developed at age 19 so you know we, we, we need to be careful we need to be careful so you know it's 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 a lot to take in as a youngster but i am certain that he will definitely love the idea of being one of the west indies leading bowler that is currently playing so you know they just need to monitor him in the right in the right and proper way you understand but there is no reason my viewers and subscribers why this youth should make it through because we would have seen other youngsters come up 
and would have made it through. People are Rabada, people are Corin, and those guys. They, they came through looking promising and they are now well established international stars. So there is no there is no reason why why this man shouldn't shouldn't come through. You understand? And every other team, as I said, can bring through their youngsters. So why not us? You understand? So as the fans, we just have to hope that the workload will will be managed properly and the youngster will continue to work. And as I said, not, not proclaiming to be any scientist or anything of his heart, but his body isn't fully yet developed, so they need to be careful with what they are doing with him. You understand? And all of this is good is a good start. You know, so so let's just let's just see how it goes. It's definitely a good start, starting point for his career. And you know, if he's hungry for it. You know, the, the, the right people are around him, people like Roach and Hola. I am a hundred percent certain that people like Hola and Roach will guide him in the right and proper way. But as I said, my viewers and subscribers just wanted to share this interview view with you guys and let you know what the youngsters' mindset is like because you know it's really refreshing to hear. It's refreshing to hear. We're gonna leave this one right here for now, my viewers and subscribers. Sports to the bone. Keep you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm out.